Hi Future Innovators, Dr. Steve Diazio here. I'm sending you this short video to kind of recap and or touch on a few of the components that we have in this module and the next um, to help you on your project. So again, first we have our group charter. That's just to lay the groundwork on what's acceptable and rules of engagement in your groups. For an MBA class, generally this isn't a problem, but it also outlines how the groups are going to work. And since we're working with virtual teams, which can be challenging, this will help you lay the foundation and kind of common understanding of how that group's going to work. So that this project and that milestone and assignment is for you and not for me. The more detailed you are, the more on this, the same page that you are with your group members, the easier it is for your project. Maybe this way you get to know each other, your strengths and weaknesses, to complement that Pecha Kucha project which many of you did a great job and I hope that you guys shared that with each other so you can know each other being a virtual team. And it's just a fun way to be an icebreaker, not meant to be anything more than, than just that. These future assignments or toolkits and design challenges that we have, these are also meant to be kind of tips of the iceberg or prompts for you to start thinking about this innovation challenge and broader project that we have. Again, this is a six week course. It goes by fast. So normally we would have a, a bigger component in terms of research, in terms of what Internet of Things are, maybe the demographics of the Sun Coast area. But remember the context. You guys are the maverick innovation teams and are free to deploy and or challenge all assumptions. And these toolkits, if it's the proposition or how, white, how might we is all about provoking this discussion, provoking this thoughts, helping you to align resources, have discussions about importance, highlighting maybe interest and or strains, or maybe, you know, what is the biggest challenge here in the Sun Coast area? So these are tools that you can take with you today for this project, but also for the projects in your, your workforce and in, in your job. Um, Utilize these as a way of creating your narrative, creating your stories to discuss these dilemmas, to discuss resources and expertise needed. And when I refer to different models of innovation, we can suggest that within this, we'll say, continuum of innovation that we've already touched upon, one being the closed model and the other being the open model, and this continuum in between. Remember, it's these are extremes, but there can be many forms of innovation, partly closed, partly open, partly open, and partly closed. And we are also touching on different mechanisms of how corporate innovation happens. If it's wisdom of crowds, co-creation, crowdsourcing, and all the different modules within this course, all of these are different ways to create an innovation strategy, to create a different model for innovating than just the traditional corporate which R&D scientists come up with new ideas and funnel that internally. So I'm trying to give you the pieces of how large companies innovate and it's up to you to run and utilize these pieces in your innovation challenge. You might say, hey, it's very unstructured. That is the point. Innovation is not clear and if there was one right way of doing things, every company would be an Apple. Every company would be a Facebook. And a lot of companies have these legacy traditions which are cultures that are very hard to break. And it's this innovative thinking and these leaders and these progressive thought processes that make these change and, and make a company pivot to, to be innovative, to be creative, and ultimately to survive. So again, I'm giving you all of these nuggets and it's up to you and your groups to frame them in a way of how we're going to solve this innovation challenge. There's not necessarily one way that's correct and one way that's not correct but it's up to you guys to frame that and relate it to the challenge at hand. So I encourage you maybe to do more research if we're not familiar with inter innovate, uh, Internet of Things or the challenges of the Tampa Bay, Suncoast, St. Pete area um, to, to kind of frame which one of these problems you're going to solve. Again, I would only pick one. Sm short class, let's work smarter, not harder and try to really to develop a, a good nugget, a very logical, a very persuasive and influential uh, idea and solution to just one of those. Again, it's up to you. You guys are the maverick innovators and you have this challenge in front of you. And my challenge to you is how you're going to solve it. 
So again, Jessica, Jessica and I are here on this journey with you, and we look forward to supporting you on this path.